There's a lot of interest for an East Vancouver open house, a community lined up eager for a look at the updated Little Mountain development. With Main Street on one side and Queen Elizabeth Park on the other, it's a 15-acre facelift for a neighborhood not so sure about it. I want to make sure that we have, uh, you know, fair, fair and equitable representation from the McEwen community to this developer who I don't feel has treated our community fairly. I've been here for like 33 years, so, you know, let's see what's going on. Nearly 60 years ago, 224 units of affordable housing were built. It was demolished in 2009. Hundreds of low-income tenants evicted, sent packing with promises that when they came back, it would be better than before. This is land which is essentially taxpayers' land. I mean, it belongs to the citizens of BC. It, it was gifted to the federal government and then to the province. And um, we think that it should be used for affordable housing. It's billed as a win-win for the city. BC Housing struck a deal with the developer, with Vancouver guiding the transformation. At a bare minimum, a uh, replacement of the social housing that was on the site beforehand, 234 units will be replaced with this development. Uh, that's an agreement between BC Housing and the city already, and a very sustainable development. Sustainable, to many in here, doesn't include the planned 14-story apartment blocks. Obviously, the developer is looking for higher density. Um, that's an economic factor. The community is concerned about that and looking for a lower density. Um, so that's one concern. Still a secret is the value of the agreement to redevelop taxpayer property. The agreement between the province and Holborn is something that's confidential that we cannot share to the public. Um, my understanding is it's something that will be made public after the rezoning is, is, is um, completed. Which could be many months. Currently, the target is to start construction in the first quarter of 2013.